Jim Carrey getting dumber and dumber. Well, the comedian's gone off the rails on the issue of guns in America, and this time Carrey's going after gun owners in a music parody called Cold Dead Hand that mocks them and late NRA president Charlton Heston. Only the devil's true devotees could profiteer from pain and fear. Charlton Heston movies are no longer in demand. His immortal soul may lay forever in the sand The angels wouldn't take him up to heaven like he planned Cause they couldn't pry that gun from his cold dead hand Bizarre. Alright, well Carrie also tweeted, Cold dead hand is about you heartless mother, and then curse word, unwilling to bend for the safety of our kids. Sorry if you're offended by the word safety. Greg, you're barely able to contain yourself. The, he is probably the most pathetic tool on the face of the earth, and I hope his career is dead, and I hope he ends up sleeping in a car the way his life began. This video only made me want to go out and buy a gun. Uh, he thinks this is biting satire, going after rural America, and a dead man. Let's talk about Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston was one of the first actors to be behind the civil rights movement in March. What did this jackass Jim Carrey do? He was behind the anti-vaccine panic. There's 160,000 people that died from measles last year, according to the World Health Organization. Jim Carrey has killed more people than all the rifles can combined. He's a dirty, stinking coward. He's a moral coward. He did a video attack. He's a, he did a video attacking rural America. He wouldn't do a video about gangs, which kills way more people with handguns. He wouldn't do that because he, he's too worried about his career. He's such a pathetic, sad little freak. He's a gibbering mess. He's a modern bigot. He's a modern bigot. Can you tell us how you really feel about him? He's a bottomless pit of insecurity. <laughs> and the desire for acceptance is why he's doing this, because he knows in his heart that he's a fraud. And not nice to talk about Sorry. Charleston Heston. And, 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 <laughs> Char the Charleston <laughs> Heston thing is the thing. Here was a great man who is dead and cannot defend himself. And this little dirtbag, this little nobody. It's also what he said about Charleston Heston. Yes. Okay. Can we, I know we could, probably can't say it, but basically he's questioning his sec, his, the size of his manhood. Ba yeah. That's basically what it was. Yeah. That is like the cheapest of all jokes. And I love your point that he wouldn't have made a video about gang violence in Chicago. Hell no. Where's that parody? Yeah. And you're not going to see um, Clint Eastwood come out and do that parody because he's got class, dignity, and grace. Um, Remember when President Obama said, well, in that secret um, recording, that they're clinging to their gods and their guns gods and guns. Yeah. Um, and then they apologize for it, and they've moved on, everyone moved on. But you know what? It is what they really think. Yeah. And not only did he make fun of Charlton Heston and rural America, he did a terrible hash of making fun of country music. Mm -hmm. He's as edgy as a Frisbee. <laughs> he, he's, he really is. He right. a, I haven't seen a movie with this guy in, in how long? Is Mask. It? That's the well, point. That, that, and that, Pet Detective or something. Well, I don't fun know. with Dick well, and Jane. You remember in Pet Detective, he talked out his butt? Yeah. Well, that's Ew. what he's doing. He sat out of his butt right yeah. there. Um, uh, look, here's uh, clearly, clearly he's looking to be relevant, it's yeah. to try and somehow stay relevant, and that's what a lot of li liberals who are also celebrities try and do. Keystone Pipeline people, uh, it's just over and over and over. Use the, use the outrage factor to try and get shows to talk about what they said. I mean, clearly, Greg, the most important point is that he put it in a rural setting. He's saying, yeah. look, you people in, in the middle of the country. White rednecks. Ho ho yeah. Hold on, you bitter clangers to your Bibles and your guns, and like, there's something wrong with that. I put on my Twitter thing up top where describe yourself. Yeah. Bitter clinger. <laughs> well, thank you. No problem. That is in your you talking to bio me, um, description. Jim Carrey, I'm still, you know what? You're going to make more people buy guns. That's what they're going to That's do. That's what the, Greg said. Yeah, you, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly strong on my feelings about guns, uh, but uh, I, I really don't like the idea of a foreigner coming in here and trying to get into the middle of this debate. He's from Canada, right? I mean, they're our friends, and we like the Canadians. And, don't say anything about uh, that. But uh, uh, it's, uh, I think it's probably a wise idea, if you're not from a particular country, to get into that country and begin to get in the middle of their politics. I mean, I... I also we don't, don't understand, need that sort of thing. I don't understand the attack. So if his point is that he wants to reduce gun violence, okay. But why go after rural America? If, I guess his point is maybe about background checks. But this is a guy that, if he really wanted to turn his guns on somebody, would look at his own backyard in Hollywood. 
-hmm. All of those video games, all of those movies, they're not being made in rural America. And what's being mm -hmm. emulated out there by um, nuts like the murderer uh, in Newtown, Connecticut, it's, th it's that type of uh, movie, behavior, video games that could possibly be a link. It's not rural America. Yeah. If, if Jim Carrey shows up at, I don't know, a movie premiere or something, and his security's there, do you think they're... Of they course. Yeah, they're actually actually now. And you know that he has a gated community and a fence that rivals any troubled embassy in a country. You can't get into his place. I've tried. You know, I approached him on Twitter... <laughs> Because he, the reason why I approached him on Twitter is because he, he dropped this video on Twitter. He was looking for a response. And so I would engage him. But he ran away. He, run, he, he, he insulted a bunch of people. And then he ran like a little baby. He's such a little sad freak. So, a lot of emotion on this show. <laughs> I'll say this. Pretty clear. Okay. A Block. The lead. That's the first story. Now, let me out of here, Greg. <laughs> An old saw meets hee-haw. Jim Carrey's new Funny or Die video dusts off a joke about big guns and small penises and blames a dead movie star for violence in America. The actor said in a statement, quote, I find the gun problem frustrating and cold dead hand is my fun little way of expressing that frustration. Take a look, fans. Have taken a look. On Sunday, Kerry tweeted, gun folks are afraid that control won't stop with large magazines. Their nervousness is far less important than the safety of our children. It's always, always our children. And Cold Dead Hand is about you heartless mother <laughs> unwilling to bend for the safety of our kids. Meanwhile, we have a preview of Kerry's latest movie. Help a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to do that. I apologize. Wait, that was you? Yeah, that was me <laughs> in, a, in a marvelous little furry costume. Uh, I want to go to you first, Dan, because you are a, an accomplished comedian. He makes jokes. <laughs> he makes jokes about guns and penis size. Isn't that gag staler than Jenny McCarthy's implants? It was funny. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Yes. <laughs> so it was, it, this was weird. This was a weird thing for me because I grew up loving Jim Carrey. And now it's like watching when a heavyweight fighter gets fat yeah. and can't throw a punch. And mm -hmm. they're just doing like rib store openings. Yes. And you're like, come on, man. Just don't. <laughs> yes. Go. Please just retire yeah. into your big mansion. Exactly. It's not enough, though. Yeah. It's never been enough for him. He's got to, he's got to be considered politically relevant or he's still a nobody. Uh, Jimmy, good to see you. Um, how do you feel about a guy who picks a fight with someone who's dead, like Charlton Heston, who cannot defend himself? Uh, isn't that spineless or is it really brave and I'm just not aware of it? That's a real move. Yes. <laughs> he's a vile wee man. I've never heard of him before today. Is he big here? Huge. Yeah. Just that funny face stuff again and again, contorting your face. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does he know? So he's famous, right? Yes. Does he not have a bodyguard? Yes. Does that bodyguard not have a gun? Probably. So is that not having a gun by proxy if that person <laughs> there has a gun on your behalf? Exactly. And well, I imagine he must have some pretty extensive security, like a fence around his house. And he talks about being sequestered in your wee kingdom. Yes. And meanwhile, his theories are obviously not been trusted in the real world because he's talking about, oh, look at guns. They kill kids yeah. and John Lennon and politicians. What percentage of gun deaths are these people? Mm -hmm. And what percentage of gun deaths? Like 94% of blacks are killed by blacks in the streets. It's not Newtown. Yeah. If you do your data, you fool. Yes. <laughs> If you really care about it, how'd you know Google it first? That's what drives me nuts about they, these people. No research whatsoever behind the behind. Two this. minutes on Google. <laughs> Google's free. <laughs> it is. It is free. Uh, Jedediah, in the green room, you called the video biting social commentary. I was shocked. Oh, yes. This is wonderful. <laughs> I just think it's amazing how celebrities think they're going to sort of re-excite their careers by making these kinds of political statements. And he did tweet about a bodyguard, actually, about having a bodyguard mm -hmm. and said, well, my bodyguard, I don't remember how he worded it, but 
but didn't have a gun that could fire X amount of rounds or whatnot. But it's amazing oh. that these celebrities think they can tell us all what to do when they can afford a bodyguard who has a gun. The average person, guess what? They can't afford to hire someone to mm -hmm. walk around and protect them. They have to protect themselves, Jim Carrey. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why my membership to my militia is always open. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it's yeah. growing. It is it's, growing. And we are the most super liberal and open militia ever. <laughs> it's true. It is true. I've uh, hung out with your militia. They are fun. <laughs> they are. I just want to say cocktail hour in the cabin is a hoot. I'd say they're a double barrel of laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> yeah, very experimental. Yeah. 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 Bill, even you who hates guns and gun owners has to agree that Carrie's opinions are as edgy as an inflatable toilet not seat. Not only do I not hate guns, Greg, I've shot way more than you ever have and killed animals to boot. <laughs> uh, the problem with funny or die is if it's not funny, it gets to die. No hits. The problem with getting very upset about this and tweeting how upset you are and going online and discussing how upset you are. You're giving this guy hits. It's going to be a huge hit this year. And you know what? All of those hits online, they don't tell you whether or not it's people that were angry at it or people that thought it was the funniest things ever. If you really want stuff like this to die, we shouldn't start our A block with it. Mm. That feels like funny a die is going to pay him a red dime. Yeah, no, it's all free. It's just more people it's see helping, what a bloody it's, it's, look, I, it's helping him feel great about himself, which I don't uh, want to see. No, I don't but, think he knows. So, wait, so fool. But, no, Bill's logic always is: if you see something that don't you dislike, something. don't talk about it. Whereas. Then I don't have a job. No, no, <laughs> no, no. If it's worth talking about, absolutely talk about it. But this, I don't think, is worth it. See, so I don't. Like, like, can I, remember can I, when he was talking about vaccinations and he said, "How stupid do they think it. we are?" Now, because that was talked about, I've seen that video of him being a fool. Well, yeah, that's my point. Well, I don't know the same thing here. Yeah, okay. but see, the thing is, I have to disagree. So you think it's not worth talking about? I. Have I mean, right. if you don't like it, I think you shouldn't talk about it because anger will always get more hits than people who but, think but it's I'm not funny. But the thing is, that, 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 the fact that whether they get hits or not doesn't concern me. The fact is that I have to respond to what I believe is inaccurate, poorly researched, and, and actually, I think bigoted. I think that's an actual bigoted video. He does not like white Americans. Mm -hmm. Or hee-haw. Or hee -haw. That's the point. <laughs> hee -haw. How would I know about Conway Twitty? Huh, yes. Jim Carrey? Or who's the lady with the little price tag? I don't know, but she's a dork. Mini Puddle. So uh, <laughs> How would you know Mini Pearl? We get that in Glasgow. It's a top show. Yeah, yeah. good, <laughs> but, but, uh, but Jedi, show. Jedi Diet, the other thing that, that I think is important to note is it, it's exactly what Jimmy said about the, uh, the uh, overwhelming amount of gun violence done by gangs. <sighs> Why is it so easy to mock a, a white rural person and not a gang? Is it because he's a coward? Is he afraid that he's going to upset his masters in Hollywood? It's because Hollywood will jump on board and help him out, and he knows that. It's not politically correct if he were to point out some accuracies. The same way it's not politically correct to point out that most of this violence occurs in gun-free zones. Yeah. That's the story the media doesn't want to tell, and Hollywood is want, what doesn't want to tell. He just wants to seem cool, like he's on the right side of the issue so that all of his friends can come in and cheer him on. Yeah, Jim Carrey, rep your set. What street gang are you rolling with? <laughs> See, he wouldn't even understand that urban vernacular. Yes. All I'm saying because is he's not with it. Someone about to get clapped on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, I don't know. What oh, that, that means. was just <laughs> awful. Could no, you no, no, I think out? that all sounded legit. Could you, you know. argue uh, that perhaps Jim Carrey's killed more people than guns? With those vaccinations ideas? Yeah. Maybe. I mean. He killed my soul when I was watching that video and I felt like that was an internal murder. <laughs> yes, it was. And how do you quantify those, really? No. no. Killing don't... people's joie de vivre. Wow. <laughs> really? We don't speak French on this show, sir. <laughs> don't come in here with all your foreign... Oh, I'm sorry. Joy of a vive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Shout out to vive. We've slaughtered this topic from... So true. Hello, everyone. I'm Greg Gutfeld, along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Bob Beckel, Eric Bowling, and she eats rainbows for breakfast. It's Dana Perino. It's 5 o'clock in New York City, but you get that. So yesterday, I nailed has-been Jim Carrey for his skit attacking rural Americans in Charlton Heston, a man who cannot respond because he's dead. In case you missed Jim's video, once again... Heston movies are no longer in demand And his immortal soul may lay forever in the sand The angels wouldn't take him up to heaven like he planned Cause they couldn't pry that gun from his cold dead hand With your cold dead aim you're trying to prove your <laughs> is bigger But we know your chariot may not be swinging low 
making You're fun of everything man. I hold dear. Walter. Wow. Edgy stuff. See, gun owners compensate for their lack of manhood. So I guess our Navy SEALs are all neutered. As for his parody of Hee Haw, it's already a parody. But I don't expect depth from a roiling bucket of sewage. Now, gun rights were never a core issue for me, but Kerry and tools like him made it one. This is Hollywood with its slip showing. Kerry's video shows what they really think of Flyover America. They hate you. To them, you're all white rednecks. Worse, he mocks a dead and decent man. Dude, I get you're a clown, but at least hit someone who can hit back, you simpering tool. In Hollywood, where the hell are you? If you worked with Heston or respected his work in civil rights, mm -hmm. say something. How can you let this odious twerp defile Heston's memory? You should regurgitate Carrie like a cat upchucking a feces encrusted fur ball. Yeah. And yes, Carrie has not made a good film in years, which is why he's a marionette trying to please his liberal puppeteers. He's desperate. But forget your thoughts on guns. His cruelty reveals how cloistered Hollywood is, that Carrie thought his crap would be greeted with anything but a flush. And so beneath Jim's phony New Age persona, he's as hateful as the KKK, and his esteem is so low he cannot go a moment without feeding it, which is why when he's called out, he hides, and he hides behind a gun. He has armed security, which by his own logic means he has tiny genitals. Uh -huh. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, I, I yes, follow. I did. Hey, before we have discussion, I just want to compare, do a simple head-to-head -head head with the legendary Charlton Heston, uh, who was a leader in civil rights and, a, and an actor, and I want to compare him to Jim Carrey when they were about the same age. Here's a clip of Heston. Until very recently, like most Americans, I expressed my support of civil rights largely by talking about it at cocktail parties, I'm afraid. But again, like most many Americans this summer, uh, I could no longer pay only lip service to a cause that was so urgently right and in a time that is so urgently now. So I tried to find a, a clip of Jim Carrey of equal stature. <laughs> Thank you for all your cooperation. <laughs> that was cheap. I admit that was cheap. But, but I needed some kind of context. Funny. Why doesn't anyone talk like Charlton Heston anymore? He had a great I love voice. love that. He had a great voice. And it's when so he was handy. in Planet of the Apes, when he said, get your dirty damn paws off me, you dirty damn ape. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Who didn't That's what that? you said to me that time. <laughs> okay. And I was, I was dressed as a gorilla. KG. Yeah. Um. What you know? The whole point is, he's a, he, his whole thing is he's a comedian, right. and comedians do things that are supposed to be funny, even when that's not funny. But we have a right to point out that he's kind of a tool for going after somebody who's dead and a great guy, a great American, and a great patriot like Charlton Heston. I get backfires on Jim Carrey because it makes him look sort of sad and pathetic and trivial. And is that the best like work he can do these days? I mean, that like bizarre little parody cowboy dance that he was doing? Okay. I think it speaks for itself. And this is a man who's a total hypocrite because he's benefiting from the Second Amendment, which he criticizes. And I guess he thinks he should decide who's able to bear arms and who's able to have a weapon in their mind. He's able to. Yeah. He's able to have armed security and, you know, live in a nice secure place, but what other people aren't able to exercise their Second Amendment right? Mm -hmm. Come on. Bob, uh, do, you, do you think uh, there's a lot of great people in Hollywood who probably knew Charlton Heston? Shouldn't some of them say something about this or let it slide? They should. And let's keep in mind, Charlton Heston went into the field of civil rights, not yeah. talking about it, in 1963. That was the beginning of the Freedom Rides. That was a dangerous, dangerous thing to do. And it, I've got to give him an enormous amount of credit. My dad was in the civil rights movement during that time. It was brutal. People were getting beat up. And particularly if you were white going to the South, and he had the courage to do that. I think, you know, something like that. I don't agree with him on his guns and the stuff. But on that, it, it, civil rights is near and dear to my heart. And I'll tell you, it, he, he was one of the few people in Hollywood who just didn't talk it. He went out and lived it. Well, that's, that's a, a, a good point, Eric. In terms of this, like, of the gun issue, mm -hmm. like, there, you could be on either side and respect either side. This is like a disrespectful way of dealing with an issue, I guess. Let, let's let's be real. Jim Carrey is a talent. I mean, he's a funny guy. He's in living color. He was cutting edge. Came up with some really great stuff. Um, is it panic? Now, maybe it's panic. I mean, the guy was making twenty to twenty-five million dollars a film, and then it just kind of went away. So he, you know, there, there are social activists like George Clooney, like Sean Penn, like Bono. There are environmental act activists like uh, uh, Angelina Jolie and, and, uh, and Brad Pitt. 
And then there are career activists who feel their career starting to slide and they jump onto anything, whether it's a tree. He happened to jump yeah. on a gun in the middle of the gun discussion. I think he picked the wrong prop for this film, though. Yeah, I That's think you're right. Point. I think you're right. Dana, the one thing that I love about him is uh, he, on Twitter, he's on Twitter now, he retweets compliments. So after he put God. out this, it, it's kind of like a comedian who applauds when people are applauding his own joke. It, isn't that the paragon of insecurity. Well, remember Breitbart, what he did was he would retweet the uh, nasty grams that he got from people. Yeah. That's how that actually started. He doesn't, e Jim Carrey doesn't even know what he's doing on Twitter. You don't pat yourself on the back. That yeah. is embarrassing. Um, I was thinking about something. Why, do, why wouldn't he go after like Clint Eastwood? Yeah. Is it because he's afraid that Clint Eastwood would track him down and kick him? Because he's alive? Yes. Yeah, That's exactly. A, yeah. Like, why couldn't he? It's not as if there aren't people that you could have picked out to make fun of. Yeah. But he chose somebody who was dead. Well, there are two there are two there are two targets that he picked. Two targets that he doesn't come into contact with. A, dead people, mm -hmm. and B, the rest of America. He has dual citizenship in Canada, but that's really Canada and Los Angeles. <laughs> also, yeah. also, you know, he was looking for something that was going to create a lot of fire, yeah. a lot of controversy. He, he was trying to get on, you know, in social media, trying to get on shows like The Five. But he picked the one topic that even the Democrats are afraid to touch because they know mm -hmm. most of America agrees with the Second Amendment, all right, to, to keep and bear arms. Mm -hmm. He picked, he messed with the wrong Wouldn't it be yeah. cool, though, if he, he engaged the them? pipeline? Something, yeah. right, sure. <laughs> Environmentally, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah but it, he would have been nice if he engaged people on it, but he doesn't. What he does is he goes on Twitter, uh, craps all over America, and then he hides. I wouldn't mind if he went out and said, like, okay, let's talk about it. Sorry, Bob. Well, I was going to say, going to go back to the civil rights movement, let's remember, in 63, Heston had campaigned for both Adelaide Stevenson and Jack Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy were both hiding on the civil rights issues because uh, they just were afraid for the reelection. Heston went out at a time as a Kennedy supporter and actively went out and actively went in the south and i can tell you uh, it, 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 you're taking life into your hands when you do that mm -hmm. and it's certainly my father did and i and i i didn't i don't remember many there were few there were a few hollywood people who went down there but not many mostly they were ministers uh and and rabbis and people but uh, very few celebrities so he stood on principle and he acted on it yeah, what sure. is the principle Man of that's what i didn't understand about this whole jim carrey thing what is the principle that he is trying to accomplish he if if he was trying to ridicule people, okay, you achieve that. But what is the greater end? Like, what does he want in the it's, gun? In, what does he want from the gun debate? Yeah, it is doesn't. No guns? It doesn't help the actual issue. If you no. actually engaged people, articulated your perspective. He wants attention. Yeah, he, it was purely. I think attention. it really is, Kimberly. I mean, what have you heard from him recently? I mean, this is like the best thing that he's done. Sad. I mean, that's yeah, what I the think. Le it is. The last thing you heard that he did was Jenny McCarthy. Hmm. Easy. I wanna, you said I, it. I want to. <laughs> no, but I want to ask you something. Do you think Hollywood is scared to actually say something about this because they feel that Funny or Die would come after them, or yeah. so they'd rather just let this thing slide? Sure, they're going to let it slide. You know, they're not going to stick up for one of their own because he doesn't share their same ideology. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's on the outs. He doesn't get to sit at the cool table with the Hollywood elite. Jim Carrey gets to sit there. So even though this was not very funny or very interesting and especially not very nice, they're not going to call him out on you it. You know, the, the other thing is, for those of us who are for gun control, and particularly the clips, he did more to hurt the cause by doing this than, hey, if he kept his mouth shut, he'd yeah. been a lot better off all the way around. This is going to get get people riled up, and, and, and I just wish people like this, if you're going to do it, know what you're talking about, and understand the legislative process. It's going to be a tough one to sneak that, that clip in. We'll get it, I think. Well, the, but yeah, um, on the day that he released his video was the same day that um, Mayor Michael Bloomberg of New York announced a $12 million ad buy right. um, to try to push his position on gun control and that that on a day when that arguably would have gotten a lot more attention the Jim Carrey news totally swamped it and ridiculed their effort yeah. mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do this every time you say clip I'm supposed to remind you that you put a, hair <laughs> clip. a clip is for hair a magazine is for actual putting bullets into a gun just oh. like, like, every time every time one of us says it I get t 50 Twitter people saying tell Bob a clip Bill is for Bob. hair. I, well, I, I don't know. Bill I don't Bob. use clips in my hair, so I don't know. I always thought that's what they called them. So and Jim Carrey, should, Jim Carrey should stick to magazines like Details mm. rather than magazines 
that go into guns, Kimberly. Oh, How do you like have that? to admit, Greg? He was cutting edge when he when he. When he, was, he I thought they the whole Lily Collar stuff and his early her early films yeah. were fantastic. Now, yeah, but it's kind of like, what have you shit. done for me lately? That's what I have to say to him. It was the bat mama that it, the guana that he was after that got me. I mean, it was the, remember that he was going what? out to bat. Yeah, he was going out to bat. Oh, crap. the Joker. What are you? No, no, no. When he was pet detective. Well, I, 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 um, he, for people who care, his Twitter handle is at Jim Carrey. I think we might even have it up there. You should ask him uh, why doesn't he debate it or talk to people uh, rather than just posting something and hiding. Or leave people, in, uh, you know, leave Southern people Carrey, in cemeteries you alone. You don't have the guts to come debate Greg Gutfeld. Why don't you come on here and debate him? That's a good point. He should come on the five and talk about this. We'd be really, really nice. I actually want to know what he thinks. I don't care about his shtick. I want to know what he thinks. You know? yeah, there we go. Well, can we put the hand a lot? Let's go. Let's see. Well, they were, uh, they, I guess they didn't make it. All right. A block. Believe. That's the first story. You can't keep me locked in here forever, Greg. <laughs> oh, yes, I can, disembodied <laughs> voice. All right, he wants guns barred, but not for his guard. Yep, after unleashing a really stupid parody video mocking gun owners and calling them heartless mother on Twitter, Jim Carrey admitted he has armed security. That's right, security with arms. On Monday, the activist actor tweeted, Good morning. Hope you're enjoying Cold Dead Hand. That's his video. FYI, my bodyguard doesn't have 100 rounds in his clip. I wish you all a bullet-free day. Smiley face with the nose. So basically, he wants America gun-free, except in his proximity. It's a little rhyme there. But does having security automatically bar you from having an opinion on gun control? That's a good question. So we posed this question to a sleepy meerkat. Meerkat, does having security automatically bar you from having an opinion on gun control? He's like an MSNBC viewer, you know, because they get really bored and sleazy watching the same old stuff all the time. Little jab that might get me a raise. Nick, welcome to the program. Big fan of yours. Thank you. I Thank love you. your show. I of watch, course you do. I watch yeah. it religiously. Yes. Meaning with an altar boy. Yeah. Um, does having an armed security guard, because we talk about this all the time, does that mean you can't have an opinion on gun control? Can you, you explain it away? You can have an opinion. It might be a stupid one, but <laughs> yes. you can have one. I yes. mean, the, the thing about Jim Carrey's argument is that uh, the gun that his armed bodyguard is carrying probably killed more people than <laughs> any of the guns that he's been raving about in that video. So it's kind of stupid. It is kind of stupid. Mm. I like your common sense approach. Yes. I also yes. like your hat. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. It's a rush hat. has two meanings. What are the two meanings? Well... I'll just let you figure that out. Uh, Rush, the uh, locker room drug I used to buy in the 80s. <laughs> no kidding. Dana. Rush, Rush, the Paula Abdul song. Oh, my God. What a beautiful oh, song. That piano was. makes a cameo. You know, in the that, video. Uh, I had some great moments on the prom with that song. Uh, Jeremy, call me. Dana, uh, you're around a lot of guns. In fact, you're probably packing right now. Is it <laughs> hypocritical to be a vocal gun critic while you have somebody protecting you? Or is that just the nature of the game when you become famous, you have a bodyguard? In Jim Carrey's case, it doesn't make him a hypocrite. It makes him a Wow. <laughs> because, <She's> look. <laughs> Here's Dana my, Perino, here, my ears are bleeding. Here's my big, we well, believe that. But here's my biggest problem with it, is that he goes after somebody who can't defend himself. He goes after Charlton Heston, who passed away. Yes. And it doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't. It, and do you, does he think any one of his fans knows that Charlton Heston won all the great movies he did? Yeah. And that he was the president of the NRA for um, yeah. five years. They don't know that, so he's basically making fun of somebody who can't come back and defend themselves. Mm -hmm. he, if he would have gone after somebody like. Mm, yeah. Nick, Nick Searcy. Ted Nugent. Yeah, right. Why not Ted Nugent? He's because alive. He's a scared little... <laughs> yes. Yes. By the way, t uh, I mean, going after uh, uh, Charlton Heston, this was the guy who realized that Soylent Green was people. Jim Carrey is not smart enough to figure out that Soylent Green was people. And he had a hot girlfriend in, in uh, The Omega Man. One of the first interracial relationships on any in any movie. And he also marched with civil rights. What have you done, Jim Carrey, except... Stupid anti-vaccine panics. Uh, Jesse, uh, you're the manager of the Hot Topic paintball team. Yeah. Is Carrie still a hypocrite for having security? Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate those of you at home who are playing the red-eye drinking game who just lost because I wasn't the first one to say 
<laughs> the so, uh, that. But you're the this second. But drink. Uh, <laughs> do all the White House secretaries talk that way? <laughs> I, well, as you'll know, um, I've given up any pretense of having any um, semblance of a good reputation <laughs> since I've come on this show. And well, uh, whereas I used to have a real job, now I comment on cat videos and things like that on Reddit. <laughs> nice. That's a real job. <laughs> well, it's working at the moment. <laughs> we actually have we actually have tape of Dana having that realization on Red Eye and having a complete breakdown, and then moving on. I really yeah. was kind of yeah. crying. You were yeah. crying. <laughs> Jesse, yeah, uh, thoughts? There was a question there. I, the question yeah. was... No, it's fine. Uh, I'm not going to listen to it anyway. Did a steal your tie? I'm just that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm maitre d'ing later. Um, well, see, Jim Carrey, what he just did is he revealed the weakness in his security detail. And he pointed out the fact that his uh, security guard has a 9mm, which, and he, pointing out that it doesn't have a lot of bullets. Yes. And in fact, it doesn't. It has 15. So, all you gotta do is go after Jim Carrey with 16 dudes. Mm. Right? That's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know 16 dudes oh, Look, I'm not Danny anymore. Ocean. In your basement. <laughs> yes. yes. Those days are behind me, Danny. You know that. Uh, Bill, Jim Carrey said it's, he's okay with guns if they're used to shoot you in the face. Why did he go to that tape? I'm not just buying these just based on your questions. Look, look, look. I just report the things that are sent to me over the internet. Well, I'm not going to defend him. <laughs> he wants to shoot me in the face. Jim Carrey just needs to get the right bodyguard. A body card that doesn't need a gun. I myself am skilled in both the arts of war and military tactics. Call me. That's from Philip in Braveheart. He was the um. war counselor uh, to the prince. I don't remember what happened to him at the end of the scene, but I'm sure it was awesome. You're such a name dropper. He, really well, <laughs> he was my favorite character in it. Also the most gorgeous. And, also and we had similar hair. And also one of your close friends. Yes. <laughs> close He's a name I'm a name dropper. He fell out a window. <laughs> <laughs> Great scene. Hey, so Nick, should um, Hollywood say anything about this. This is the thing that drives me nuts. Chuck Heston was a great guy. And I know, as an actor, you must love, Chuck was a, a guy. Mm -hmm. is, are they just hoping that this thing kind of goes away? Or should somebody just tell Jim Carrey, you're a well, I don't think it's going to come from Hollywood. I mean, yeah. you know, basically what Jim Carrey's doing is standing up and saying what 99% of the room, he in, room that he's in agrees with. Right. So it's, and then they all pat themselves on the back for but being brave. What do you, you think know? about the fact that, uh, about guns in the movies where they make a ton of money off of that? And then, but making fun of rural America as well at the same time. Well, I, I don't even know what to think about it. It just seems like such a an intellectual disconnect there. It doesn't make any sense at all. Mm -hmm. But the people in Hollywood don't see it. Don't see it. They just it's cognitive dissonance. You know, they don't mm. get it. Do they know that word? I, I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like it's a good word. It's good it's name my new club. Band. The thing that drives me crazy, uh, and this is for anybody, is uh, the fact that he keeps uh, Jim Carrey keeps retweeting teenagers who agree with him. Mm. Well, I, I do that too. Do you really? Yes. I retweet death threats. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes. I want people to know. Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. In case you show up dead. Yeah. These just, are all for me. I don't retweet. I just follow teenagers in person who agree with me. From a distance of five blocks. You, you might get arrested. You say that. that you made. This is a, just a simple uh, white shirt and a jacket, and you already got a hit in on me on that. Yes. Meanwhile, uh, Bill Schultz is wearing the AIDS quilt, and you didn't say a single <laughs> thing about that. <laughs> And I don't know how it is possible. All right. 